Hello everybody, Starrex here, and today we're going to be checking out the Jurassic Park 30th Anniversary 4 Plus LEGO set. So let's hop right into this. So starting off, I just want to show all the extra bits that you're getting in this set. So these are them right here. You get a chain, extra hot dog, and some little doodaddles. So that's all the extra parts. And so first we're going to be taking a look at Robert Muldoon, and he looks really good. I think he turned out really nice. Like we did a really good job with that printing there on his um, shirt printing going on there. Looks really nice. You got some nice chest hairs. Um, backside is what that looks like. The legs are nice printed facing in the front, but unfortunately nothing to the side. So Lego cheaped out there, unfortunately. Um, no back head print or hair either. A um, nice hair piece would have been nice if they included that with Muldoon here. And the other human character you'll be getting is Etley Sattler here, and she looks good. This is actually the best face out of all the Etley Sattlers that are in this 3th anniversary line set. Um, yeah, I like this face for Ellie Sadler. The other ones just look smug and I don't really like them all that much. But I do like this one. And she does have an alternate face. She's nice and happy. Um, so there is her. And her got some pretty good leg printing there. Um, only there, nothing on the side. And now we're going to compare this Ellie Sadler to the one that came out a few years ago in the Command Center set. I'll put an image up right there so you know what I'm talking about. But as you can see here with her lower section, Lego actually did side printing on the legs, while on her, not. So that's unfortunate. So that would have been nice if Lego continued with the quality of their prints. And finally, we've got the Velociraptor, and Lego did a really good job capturing the Raptor here. Um, I just think it looks really good. Um, the printing, everything's done really nicely. And the claws are painted. All the claws are painted. Look at that. Lego can paint the claws. That's great. Something you could learn, Mattel. But yep, so that's the Raptor, and you can open his mouth, and the teeth are also nicely painted in there. And yep, same raptor sculpt we've had for many years, but it's a really good raptor sculpt. And I think it all around looks good. Next, we get this little raptor nest here with a little uh, eye poking out of it. So that's pretty cute. And next, we move on to the raptor pen, which is pretty much what it is. Um, in the front here, you got an opening and closing sliding door right there. You have this little command console area here, which nothing in this set has stickers, which is nice. I do like this print here. Um, for the control panel, you can see that. That looks really good. Um, over here, you have this little knob that you can focus, please. You can turn to lower this bit of chicken down into the pens for the raptor to eat, and then you can pull it back up when it's done. Um, on this side, you got a clip for Muldoon's gun, which you can equip him with, like so. So he's all ready to go out. And then there's a little frog right here. Um, all the um, LEGO 30th Anniversary Desert Park sets all have frogs scattered throughout of the sets, so they're kind of hidden in some of them. Others are more obvious, like this one. Um, this right here can hinge, and this is designed to break so the raptor can break out, like so. Hence the name um, Velociraptor Escape, so we can break out there, and the, yeah, so all in all, that is the whole set. But that's not the whole set. We have this little buggy vehicle here, where comes with a hot dog, so you can take Edley Sattler, like so, and put her on there. She also comes with a little walkie-talkie, so she can go out and find the raptor nest, which is assume what's going on here, and then the hot dog can be used to track the raptor back, because we all know raptors like the hot dogs, right? And probably eat her as a, as the main meal. So this set is nice for kids, I will say that, but this is a 30th anniversary line of sets, and I would prefer to get something else than this, because out of all the Jurassic Park sets that LEGO has done, they're from different parts of the Jurassic Park movie. While this isn't, it's just a little kid set, which I think could have been a much better set. And here's what I would have done for this um, Velociraptor Escape set. Wouldn't have done a 4 plus set because it's ridiculous. The only thing you're getting with this really is Muldoon and the Raptor. Edley is in two other sets, um, but there are differences in each one of them. But it is nice, you know, so you can get that. You get a little Raptor egg, which also I've seen used as an alligator, I believe. Um, but what I would have done with the set is this. So I'm just gonna get rid of this, like like so, just drop that off, doesn't need it. Get rid of these, like so, and then pull in these two guys, and here you go. Bang! There is my LEGO 30th Anniversary Velociraptor Escape Set, and here it is. I'm going to just do a quick overview. Um, so this is the enclosure, you know, the cage here. Not an enclosure, but just the raptor um, cage here. So this can open and close, like so. You can pull this out, and you can put the raptor on like that and then you can slide it 
on and I got this idea from the Trosa Raptor cage um, for the Dominion set and you just push the Raptor in there and hinge Mr. Raptor up a bit and you can close that gate right on down and it's all closed in there just like so and then to let the Raptor out you just pick it up and you can just slide the Raptor back out once you get the cage out and you can just the head was turned in there and then now you can just slide the raptor out and what you can also do with this and since you have these two park workers here he's got the little electric baton so you can have him zapping in there he has an alternate face i'll just show this really quickly um so there's the alternate face he's all serious because this is about to become very serious so he's zapping the raptor in there you can turn his face around and he'll be all screaming so you can put him in there like that and then you can put Muldoon grabbing him trying to save him while the raptor is in there having a nice little bunch on some legs so there is my set that I've gone with and I'm not keeping this four plus set here this is what I'm going to be displaying with my whole thing I think this looks a lot better and yeah so there is that and that has been again a look at the um, Velociraptor for set um hope you enjoyed checking this out and if you would like to see a tutorial on how to make your very own raptor cage here just let me know and i'll show you how to build it all right and if i get at least 10 people or so asking me to build this i'll show how to do it um so there you go and hope we see you on the next one until then have a great day and goodbye everybody